We all knew that cheating in Apex was bad, but hearing the statements from some of these streamers and also some of these people quitting, I'm saying they've uninstalled, man, it sucks. So 27 days ago, we had probably one of the most concerning stats that I've seen in a while. First grade took it to Reddit to say cheating in Apex Legends has reached an all-time high with the last season that we had in season 20. Both the pros and casuals are experiencing floods of cheaters in the games. But the problem is, it's not only them experiencing the cheaters, they are a lot of the cheaters, even the pros at this point. So instead of another rant let's look at the data how many masters and preds were banned last season a total of 2177 were banned in season 20 according to the apex legend status bot those players were masters or held apex predator at the time of the ban among them 898 of them were predator players while 1279 players were masters all of those banned at the time the post was made there's about 5,000 masters and preds so that meant about 30 percent of those players who made it to masters and preds last season were banned on average 20 eight were banned each day with the most of being 141 in one day so what about the account level of the banned players the average account level was actually 550 which is sad because that means they've been around for a while the takeaways were that we were hitting unprecedented levels 30 percent of players who have made it to masters and preds were banned and also that was just what was caught not necessarily the actual number of people that were cheating in general the big concern here is that the data suggests that the bans were manual and in most cases are late half of the banned accounts are above the level 500. So then yesterday, Zeus had made a statement that went right into what we have been following and also posting about over on Twitter if you follow our Apex Legends esports news. So about a week ago, we had made a report that the team Lightning Unicorns in the Apex South region had secured their spot in the esports World Cup. However, there were accusations of cheating and collusion that were overshadowing their win. So if you didn't see this story, when the esports World Cup had tweeted that Lightning Unicorns was the first team to qualify for it, you had countless comments of people angry that they allowed cheaters to play in this and if you missed this tournament specifically everyone knew that something suspicious was going on so it turned out not only was this team we once again showing their strange strength in the finals but they were just randomly contesting teams that made no sense x and y bbq dream fire vkg everyone watching knew that they were just griefing teams that made no sense at all what was really weird is when one of the players we had actually confirmed in the chat that he was a player who had changed his name for a team that he played for called cold in hell well cold in hell was caught with crazy activity and confirmed that he was the player Jasper. So what started as a team getting disqualified for making racist comments, then changed their name to get back in by PSQs. Then they qualified, but then gave up their spot because they got caught that apparently there were stand-ins, people were changing their name, suspicious activity was caught. So yeah, this is a team that has already been disqualified in these competitions. Well, it's important to know that there is a cheat that will allow you to see the final end zone before it actually happens. And imagine finding someone taking the final ring six in ring one that is a wild prediction to make and especially when it's out in the middle of nowhere so when you hear the suspicious activity and their suspicious zone predictions this clip explains what they're talking about and look at how these casters were so confused can tell that that clip right there was blatant cheating but devs that want to go deeper in on the proof of this team cheating there's a video linked from billy billy where it's a compilation of this guy doing exactly that staring at enemies through walls it wasn't just this game it was multiple times throughout out the series but i'm not alleging it's just wall hacks that this team was using this team had no console beacon character one of the most important characters in apex competitive if you guys even watch a little bit of it knowing where the ring is going to end but there are cheats for that in apex legends there's a legitimate hack that shows you where the zone is ending and that is what gave this team the ultimate edge the wall hacks definitely helped yes but knowing exactly where the zone was gonna end at the very start of every game, I think was what helped this team the most. It's like they called it right from the start, mate. They just, they, they put a pin down on the map, set up tents and uh, yeah, they're just sleeping in their hammocks until everyone else catches up about four rings later. And so the idea here is that with season 21 getting this supposed easy anti-cheat upgrade, we just hope things would get better, but sadly they have definitely gotten worse. But is it worse because the system itself is worse or did the system just basically upgrade it to a level that allows things to have more flexibilities and more control so that they can get better? Maybe it just takes time, but I think that's just copium, honestly. The sad part is we have still seen all this stuff overtake rank overtake pubs overtake a lot of things and players are just frustrated because cheating is still out of hand and then you get some crazy news like this Dal Touche saying 
I've uninstalled Apex. Absolutely done with that game, brother. And then someone even comments like, guys, the yearly Touche Quitting Apex tweet just dropped. And he said, I've never uninstalled before, but it's super serial this time. People are just frustrated, man. Now, of course, there's tweets like this all the time. Will they come back? Sure, I'm sure a lot of them do. But he's not the only one frustrated. I mean, here was a clip of Mandy at the beginning just talking about how frustrated he is to even play this game anymore. The game is so horrendous, dude. It's literally the worst state it's ever been. And it keeps getting worse every single season. So many f***ing cheaters in this game just ruining the game every single day. So what got pretty interesting were the millions of dollars of lawsuits that came out in another game that people are wanting Apex to get involved in as well. The idea is that people want Respawn to take this more seriously. They want EA to take it more seriously. Even in the comments of the original cheating numbers and ranked, people were saying, okay, I don't know how realistic this is, but I feel like requiring a phone number to be attached to accounts would slash both cheating and smurfing in half. I doubt it'll ever get implemented, but it would be a nice pipe dream or something like Timmy had even recommended that maybe we have a new internet-based social security number, so like some type of public identifier number that the internet has to give you so that you can live on the internet. I don't know. I'm not saying it's a perfect idea. I'm saying something has got to be done, something that can actually work. So Charlie Intel, which is actually still Dick Cerdo, had reported breaking news. Activision was granted default judgment in its court case against the cheap provider engine owning. The judge ruled engine owning owes Activision $14.45 million in damages and $292,900 in legal fees. The judge ruled engine owning website domain must be transferred over to Activision now. And honestly, this is a massive W because screw the cheaters, right? Finally, these guys are not only getting shut down, whatever, but they're having to pay real dollar consequences. And that's what it should be. I understand that this has always been the internet. It's just gaming. It's not that serious. We don't need it. To, it does need to be taken seriously because it's literally ruining this industry. If we don't take it serious, it will literally only get worse. If there is not some sort of high dollar amount of you know scare tactics involved or jail or something involved something's got to be done guys i mean there was a time where i would agree it wasn't like that harmful it was just very very rare and it wasn't that big of a deal it probably wasn't really hurting the pockets of activision or respawn ea whatever but it's getting to the point now where it is such a big conversation that it is actually deterring people away from playing the game it is actually making people uninstall the game it is actually making people just quit give up talk bad about the game and it hurts the activision it hurts ea a, it hurts respawns pockets and of course that's when it really does need to get involved i mean this is technically damage to their property so that was the retweet we got from dom 2 crack many others tagging fortnite tagging respawn tagging apex hey it's your turn to get involved in this and honestly i hope 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 that we do go in that direction. If we don't go in that direction, or if we don't start taking things a little bit more serious, we honestly are gonna be screwed in the long run. Let me know what your thoughts are on how we could fix this. Do you agree with Timmy's idea? Do you think we should add phone numbers? Let me know your thoughts down below. Like the video and subscribe. And until the next time, we'll see you all later, Gators.